Hello everyone, welcome to some basic tech and today we will talk about how we can fix this issue that you can see on the screen. That is the uh, group policy client service failed the sign in access is denied. So I experienced this issue recently in uh, domain environment and uh, one of user was not able to log in in uh, 2016 windows server. So if you are experiencing such issues in windows active directory environment where the users are you know, connected through the domain. You can simply uh, do a couple of things to uh, address this issue. So first of all, uh, you can do GP update that I can show you uh, quickly and the system. It means uh, you just need to open command prompt. And type GP update slash force. Okay. If you type like this. It is going to sync the entire NG, you know, group policy within the system. So, and after that, you can reboot the system and uh, most probably the issue will fixed. If you are not able to fix the issue, the second step is to uh, simply, we can, you know, open. Uh, I'm going to tell you the steps that is quite simple. It means uh, if you are not able to see AD Explorer, simply type uh, AD. Sorry, it's a file explorer, not AD explorer. So yeah, type file explorer, click on it and uh, click to this PC, right click and go to properties. It's a very simple steps. We can go through the settings as well, but uh, I prefer to come like this. Okay, so scroll down a little bit and there is a advanced system settings. Okay. You can just click on it and here if you see clearly user profiles desktop settings related to your sign in okay just click on settings and uh, all the user account that is logged in and they are experiencing any issues or they are having good condition you can see all the user accounts here okay so uh, suppose i am facing any issues with the tester account and uh, it is not getting logged in okay so simply what you have to do before deleting this account you can take some copy and backup the data i mean simply go to uh, c drive and uh, go to users go to tester account that is you are you know seeing here and uh, if you have any data you can copy from downloads documents and all and once you copied simply come to here and uh, delete and yes This is only going to delete the, uh, you know, uh, cache and sync the data inside the machine, not going to delete your user account. Okay. So it will take a couple of minutes to delete this and then you can click OK and it is going to fix the issue. Okay. Simply click OK and OK. That's it. Now we are good to reboot the machine and then you can try login again. Uh, I fixed the issue when and, and i experienced it was resolved very smoothly so i i just thought i can share with you and you can also fix this okay so this is all that i just wanted to show you and uh, if you want to see uh if the user is showing or not so lusrmgr.msc this is for listing down all the users that is created in the local environment and as well as uh in domain environment so here i can see and uh, i hope you like the video and if you are able to fix the issue then just do some comment and uh, if you are still facing the issue I, I just ask me i will definitely let you know the other solutions as well thank you so much